Hi, this is Demon, and you are watching Salesforce Introduction to Build Application. So we are we are going to build application on bank account where you will be able to perform different transaction like deposit, withdraw, or send transferring to other account. Also, you can store customer information as an account. So if we want to store customer information in account, we need to store customer first name, last name, customer address, and customer type different kind of parameters so store that we cannot do it using account name because this account is business account it contains different industry size parent account a more we cannot store any individual information into this account type so for this salesforce has introduced another account type that is person account salesforce have two different type of account one is business account which stores different information related to any company or any organization and one is person account which stores the information related to any individual or any person so person account contains different field of contact like if you want to store any information in contact like first name last name all kind of field so Salesforce has identified different fields which would be imported to account and if you click on new you will be asked which account type you want to select that is person account or business account so this kind of functionality has been introduced in salesforce by using record type so before we proceed with the account creation we need to enable the person account for this organization so to enable person account you need to raise a case to salesforce now if you are using unlimited ed edition or enterprise edition for salesforce and you have a premier support plan then you can go to help and raise the case but this is developer edition so to enable person account in salesforce developer edition you need to dial salesforce standard support num toll free number so these are the numbers toll free numbers you can dial the number based on your region salesforce.com the leader in customer relationship management crm and enterprise cloud computing to see how Salesforce.com are helping thousands of customers from across all industries manage their business relationships, please visit www.salesforce.com forward slash AP. If you would like to speak to someone regarding a new sales or product inquiry, please press 1. If you require Salesforce.com support, please press 2. If you, you have reached the customer support department. For basic support, please press 1. For Premier support, please press 2. For our system services, your call may be recorded for quality purposes. For assistance with a Salesforce product, please visit success.salesforce.com for documentation, videos, and training. If you'd like additional assistance or technical support, you may create a case by clicking on the Submit a Case button located at the bottom of the success page. If you'd like help resetting your password, press 1. If you have an existing case number, press 2. If all your users are unable to access Salesforce, press 3. To upgrade for Premier support, contact your account executive or press 4 to speak with a sales representative. To repeat this message, press pound. Once you press for existing case, you will be asked to provide case number. Do not enter any number. Wait for three times and you will be connected to the customer support. And in this support, you will have to provide all the details as described previously and you need to ask support member to raise a ticket to enable person account provide your phone number your email address so that they can get back to you and provide all the case details like priority business reason impacted users so impacted users will be all so once ticket is raised you will be thanked for contacting salesforce and we have contacted salesforce by this voice communication where we have asked for any issue into the developer edition we can contact to this number and they have replied you're very much welcome, sir. All right. Anything else from here? No, thank you very much. So, uh, for uh, I mean, related to any developer edition uh, functionality enablement or any issue, we can call to this support number, right? That is correct, sir. That is right. Okay. Thank you. You're very much a welcome, sir. And um, if there's nothing else, well, thank you for choosing Salesforce. Please take care. Have a great evening, sir. Thank you. So once you contacted support, they will raise a ticket to enable this person account feature for your, for your organization.
once the submitted person account enabled request is submitted you will receive this mail to your email address that what is your organization id so you need to provide the organization id to receive the organization id from your salesforce org you need to perform this so to retrieve organization id you need to go to setup go to company profile click on company information and here you can see organization id you now then you will be asked create one default record type that is business account and go to customize in account you go to record type and create one standard record type with the name as business account and provide description as business account and enable for this organization and it will be default and go to next assign one page layout the default page layout is account layout and save so one record type is created that is business account and you need to understand that once person account you need to confirm that i understand that person account feature is activated and cannot be disabled so these are the different confirmation you have to replay back on this email so your email address would be like this to reply back that your organization id this and you are confirming that the user you have used is a system administrator and all this so once you replied back they will activate the person account and will provide you this confirmation so once this confirmation is received you will see person account has been enabled for your org so this is the person account and if you want to enable this person account for your profile you just have to go to the profile go to the record type visibility settings click edit and add into the profile and save now go to this account tab click new and we'll see this is the person account record type so if you click select person account and click continue we'll be able to see this is the first name last name you can you'll be able to enter and if you click business account you'll be asked for the account name and all this so if you go to this object definition of account in the field you will see these are the person field in the page layout this is the business account page layout you will see only the fields which are related to business account see account name account number account owner but in the person account layout if you go you will be able to see only those fields which are related to person account assistant phone number birth date email all this so this is person account layout and this is business account layout So you can create more person account record type and associate page layouts by creating new layout adding more fields into the layout so you can create multiple person account record types and multiple business account record types so this is how we can enable person account for this developer org developer edition org and we'll create continue with our bank account application development so in next video you will see how do we use this person account to create multiple people person account fields like account details like this account holding balance so this account is not actually the bank account number we'll create another object name which name as customer account or banking account and more objects so thank you very much please subscribe and share with your